when I was uh, younger, I enjoyed looking for prizes in cereal boxes. I don't know if you did. Most of you are younger than me, so perhaps um, you didn't have this experience, but I did. There would be an ad, ad on TV saying, oh, this toy is going to be in this cereal box. And I remember waiting a couple weeks till I could convince my mom to buy that brand of sugary cereal as opposed to the one we normally got. And when we got it, I'd be so excited. I'd rip the box open and I'd dig through the box. I'm sure the rest of the family loved that. For the prize. And I was so excited. And when I got it, I pulled it out. And it was this big. And I thought, what in the world? I was so excited. And I looked so much forward to it. And it was this. I guess I should have thought, what could they have buried in a box of cereal? <laughs> but my expectation was so much more, and it was nothing. It gave me so angry. This line today in the first reading, the first reading is wonderful. It stresses, St. Paul stresses, the importance and belief of the resurrection of the dead the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and then therefore our resurrection. New life, eternal life. And then this line. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. If all we pray about, all we think about, all we dream about is this life, we are the most pitiable people of all. If all we're looking for is that prize in the box, it's going to disappoint. If all we're thinking about is this life, we're going to be disappointed. Because it's never going to end up how we want. It's never going to end up how we think we're owed. But brothers and sisters, St. Paul tells us that this life is not it. That if Jesus died and rose from the dead and we believe that and, we, and we, we profess that creed, if we say it, and he said, if you believe it and you said it, but if you don't believe it, you've made God a liar and you've made yourself a liar because you professed it. If all we think about is this life, all we pray about is this life, that's it. We're very pitiable people. We'll be very disappointed. But if we think about, if we pray about, if we dream about heaven, an eternal life. How awesome is that? Because that is our future, brothers and sisters. That is even our present here at Mass when we are brought to eternity. And so, brothers and sisters, this life, as good as it is and as stressful as it can be with its trials and joys, this life is not it. There is a life to come. Let's dream about it. Let's pray about it. And if we do, we will fight for it so that we can one day be with our Savior and all of our loved ones who have died, we pray. What an awesome gift. Praise be Jesus Christ, King of the universe, now and forever.